uh, I picked up the word node, N-O-D-E, which is a place where the Beltline corridor becomes wide enough for them to design a meeting place, a gathering place, or an art installation. And apparently that's a node because uh, they're going to put something called a Kirkwood Glade there, which I think is just going to be a kind of a meeting area, seating area, a little walking path, kind of what some people call a pocket park. Anyway, it's getting dark, so you're not going to be able to see too much here, but you can see they've actually come through and started taking down some of the limbs from these trees on right on the corridor here. And uh, there's a few more right up ahead here. I'm just going to go ahead and walk all the way through to uh, Wiley Street. Looks like they may have put another <coughs> trailer at the other end here. So I don't know if they, look, they left a place back over on Kirkwood where um, you can get in. They didn't put the tape all the way across, so I'm not sure if it's officially closed or if they if it's okay to continue to walk through here. But uh, <clears throat> if you want to see this old corridor, again, you may want to get down here uh, ASAP because, uh, yeah, over here they're actually starting to take out trees. This is, I'm getting up closer to Wiley Street. Looks like they've removed some, some trees and on a lot on a larger scale. For those of you that we just walked through here about a week ago, this is significantly different. They're clearing the, the way over here. And by the way, the trail, the multi-use trail will be to my left, so the west side of this corridor. And the transit piece of the corridor, uh, while it's undetermined whether the transit will come through this part of the corridor, they are designing it so that they can bring it through here should they decide to do that. But yeah, you can see they're definitely making progress. These folks over here on Kenyon Street probably haven't seen this much daylight ever. They just took out some pretty big trees right behind them. But, uh, I can only imagine what they're going to find as they start digging in this area. Yeah, I'd, I'm not sure. This this area is it's it's accessible, but I'm not sure it should be open. It looks like they're taking down trees in a pretty significant way. But anyway, here's your update from the Atlanta Beltline. I'll just walk on up to, uh, looking back a little bit, you can kind of see all the trees that they took out here today. I believe that, that happened today, maybe yesterday. It smells like um, smells like fresh cut wood, uh, fresh unearthed dirt. But as I say, I, I can imagine what in the world they're gonna find when they start digging in this place because these tracks are old, this place has been old. I was told by one of the project managers that sometimes they could find another layer of tracks beneath these tracks. Because if you think back 116 years, who knows what took place over the last 116 years in this rail corridor. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you one more view. Looking back, there's Stein Steel. There's the new clearing that just took place today. And uh, oh, look at that, like there's some tracks right there. some tracks with some old railroad ties. I don't know if those were there from before or maybe CSX put those there when they took these out. But uh, things are about to change in Reynolds Town in a meaningful way. So there you have it. That's the, that's the update on the interim hiking trail. And I'll leave you with a view of the Reynolds Town logo, the famous wall on Wiley Street with Halsey Yard in the background.